Hello and welcome back to Paul's Racing Channel and to the Ultimate Racing League. So this is race two from League One here on GT7 from the Ultimate Racing League and from Tokyo Expressway East Clockwise Circuit. So let's take you through the grid here for this uh, evening race. So we've got Jerry, it's a reverse grid remember, in pole position. We've got Chuck in second, Dyson third, Love Rocket in fourth, Moz in fifth, Alex or Admin in sixth. Grasshopper 7th, Chand in 8th, James Stephen in 9th, Molson in 10th, Wadru 11th, Paul in 12th, Thomas 13th, and Incy in 14th. Here we go. Remember, we've got a pit stop in this one as they go, go, go. Truck with a great start here in the NSX. Absolutely, that's a better start than the full GT, actually. He's on it already, his truck. Gonna try and make up what he. Missed out on in race one, and who's that going up the outside? I think that might be Love Rocket in that AMG. It certainly is. Look at him, three aside going up here. Dyson, Chuck in the middle again. Oh, this could be disaster. You don't want to be in the middle there, Chuck, do you? Not considering what's happened so far for you tonight. Oh, is it all through? Looking pretty good. Yep, all through there nicely. Yeah, pretty good through there from that lot. Considering. So Jerry is who's still out in front, and actually is his teammate as well going with him. So the two full GTs, first and second at the moment, early on here in this race two. So the pit itself, the stop itself, can't be in the five, first five minutes of the race, and it can't be in the last 10 minutes. So you've got a kind of like a 15 minute window in the middle that you have to use to change your tires and refuel if you need to we will need to so it's fuel and tires here in race two this season now this will be all about conserving fuel they're going to be obviously as i say only hards and mediums out here so you're going to have contrasting speeds with some of these cars as we see the leaders come up around the hairpin oh jerry's gone a bit wide now how many spots is going to lose maybe only to his teammate Maybe that was a planned team swap, or maybe not. Uh, Jerry's going to sit behind him, though. Maybe give his uh, teammate a little bit of a bum draft here. Or is it a bum draft? Maybe Jerry's going to give him a bum in, who, who knows. Up the outside. Get your mind out the gutter, I don't mean like that. Oh, Jerry with the fastest lap, a 2090. No, or maybe. Maybe there is no bum draft there. It's just going to be hell for leather between the two teammates. Jerry's thinking, no, you know what? I'll take the lead for a little while, buddy. So Jerry is Dyson second and Chuck in third. He's probably got further so far than last time. Been chased down by Chand. Who was up here, wasn't he, at the start of last race? And he's got a, on the move on to pass Chuck there. Great drive. I don't know if Chuck just touched that barrier, slowed him down a bit. Whatever it was, it was great drive from Chan. Got himself up in a third place. So Chan it is. Let's see if he can stay there. Chuck in fourth. Then Love Rocket in fifth. Alex through there in sixth with Moz in seventh. And James. Oh, a moment from James. He's got his teammate Paul behind him, and then right up behind him is Grasshopper. And then Thomas. Back down 11th, Molson 12th. Wadru 13th, and Incy in 14th. There's Wadru, still with that lag on. So see how these boys do by the time the end comes round. It's a superb shot through there as I go round the airpin. Camera pan back out there just to show you the full extent of that corner. But Dyson taking up the lead. Fancy he might be getting the fastest lap here off of Jerry here in lap two. Looks like a quick lap by him and then Chad and Chuck having a great battle. Second and third. Yeah, Dyson did get that fastest lap. In fact, no, he hasn't. Chuck's got it. 158.8. That's a bit of courtesy of a bit of uh, slipstream from Chan. And he'll 
weaving and bobbing about. Chap trying to get past that fast viper. Imagine that NSX doesn't look too much of a slouch, does it? Let's be honest. Man the outside. Doing a Thomas special with Chuck. No. Chan's wise to it, just covers that. So Chan's still in second then. See if he can chase down Dyson, our leader. Chuck third. These must be the medium boys, they are. And then Jerry in fourth, actually, he's on the hards. So. Hard tyres for Jerry. And then Love Rocket, also on the hards. And then Alex and Moz, the two medium guys behind them. And we've got a bit of a gap back to Molson, back into eighth. He's also gone with the mediums here at the start. And Thomas in ninth now. He's gone with the hards. And then the two U Supers, Grasshopper in the end seat. Both mediums for them as well. And Paul has gone with a hard there. Along with Wadru and James. These are the hard boys at the back. First time I've ever been called hard. So Dyson then. They come down to complete lap three. He's under severe pressure now from Chan, who's going to get a lovely bit of slip off him here. Chan's certainly going to take him up here at turn one, I reckon. And he's got the fastest lap as well, courtesy of that, at 158.3 now from Chan. Now, can he get past it? It's going to be a tough ask, but he's right up behind him now. He's right up behind his rear wing. And he's not going to get it there, though, I don't think. It'll be a bit of a dive if he goes up the inside there. Oh, he did go for it. Didn't get it done, actually. Pretty good in the end. Didn't get it done, though, but, yeah, I think he just had to back off a little bit there. Went for it, Chan. Decided against it halfway through the move. Just had to back off. Give Dyson that uh, place back. Not that there was much of a touch in it, but if it carried on, could have been a disaster. Chuck, though, he's fancying it here, isn't he? Now, this is what he wanted to do in race one. It didn't happen. So... <laughs> it's going to make it happen this time, isn't it? Be interested to see, though, in this second race throughout the season, what people's strategies are like, what times they do actually come in to make that stop. So we'll see. Obviously, we're going to see a lot of uh, the tower going up and down on the left there when the stops do start. People's names will be dropping and up and down that list. So Love Rocket then, holding up this next lot. Although he's got his teammate backing up and defending him as well, behind him. Full for Love Rocket and Moz in fifth. Alex going around the outside and in the inside goes Jerry. He'll have a bit of that. Up the inside of that. Yeah, and Alex is going to concede a couple of spots here, I think. He's not going to hold off Jerry either, I don't think. Oh, it's close, but I think he's going to have to drop in behind. Is Alex, although having said that, he's going to get a bit of side draft. I reckon Alex, in a former life, was a window cleaner because his window wipe was always going. This might look like perhaps he's like his reminder is like a squeegee. Who knows? He's got his trademark wipers going anyway in these dry conditions. Molson behind him in eighth. Look at his baldo as we look at. These boys coming up to turn one. Oh, it's all close up there. But again, good driving from these lot. Molson with putting a pressure on behind Alex. So Jerry heading up this queue all the way back to Grasshopper in ninth. Small back back then to Incy and Thomas, who's having her own little battle again, but at the back this time. Well, near the back. This could be the theme of this season as well, these two. Audrey there in 12th, Paul not really gaining on in 13th or 14th, so Team Vodafone, the Corvettes, 
13th and 14th at the moment, but maybe they're just biding their time. See what he brings as the race progresses. There's Paul. I'm going to call myself Paul. I don't like to keep saying myself. And then James at the back. But look at his battle up here. Look at this lot. Still together. What is it? Good five or six cars in the mix here. Jerry still holding off. Or holding him up at the front. Not purposely, but he's just there. Ahead of them all. Not holding him up as such. Moz is going to get a good run on him now. Should be able to get something out of this. Gets past him. Yep, he does. Now, can he stay there in fourth place? It's going to be close. Jerry's got that power and pace in that car. We know AMG's no slouch either, but against that muscle car. No, he does get there, Moz. Good move. So Moz does make it into fourth place. Jerry behind him in fifth. So it just drops down at the spot, does Jerry. But it's going to be continuing to be on the back of Moz, hounding the back of his bumper there. Molson, sixth. Love Rocket, seventh. Alex in eighth. Glass up a ninth. NC, tenth. Thomas, eleventh. And they all join the party now. So look at this gaggle of cars. Oh, Thomas, was that a move from Thomas up the inside? Oh, I think that was quite a... Yeah, I see a little bit of door-to-door -door action now from them two. We went for it. I think it might have been Thomas on Grasshopper. He did go for it and he got it. Made it done. Pull now, right on the back. I just have to see that. He's on the back of uh, Wadru. Now, what can you do with that lag? Gonna sit behind him for the time being. See what he can do, maybe get him along the straight. He's gonna have to contend with that as well. James still in 14th. Here he is. Not quite working out for him at the moment. Dyson's pulling away a lovely gap now. He could have this one already before the stop. If he can get himself a bit of a, a lead going into that stop. It's going to obviously work in favour. So Dyson in first, Chand in second, Chuck still there in third. There's these three have like just crept away from the rest now. Chuck goes for it, it's in the slip, out the slip, into second. Job done for Chuck. On the brakes, we'll stay in the inside. Easy as you like, good move. Chuck up the second place. Oh, he's going to scrape that wall though. Now Chan's going to get him there. That's just how it is. You scrape that wall, you're going to lose momentum, you're going to lose a little bit of time, and that's exactly what happened. And Chan's got it back. So swapping places here in second and third place. Quick dab of the brakes as they come through the quick right, left sequence and then flat on it again I was on his own a little bit in fourth good showing from him though but he hasn't really got anything to play with at the moment if he can get himself up to Chand and Chuck could get himself a nice double slipstream and we've got Jerry in fifth like maybe yeah he might be fueled well he's not got a lot of fuel is he Jerry already it's flashing so Jerry is he going to get another lap or are we going to see the first of our stoppers in here can't see anybody in, in, in at the moment Jerry's still there in fifth but he's going to lose a heap of positions here when he comes in but then everybody will when they do so let's just see, let's just stay with Jerry and see. He looks like he's pulled over to the left into that pit lane. Yeah. Yeah, that too, really. Oh, there's quite a few actually. Moz is in, Molson's in, Alex is in, so quite a few have come in. So let's just uh, go back to our leader for a minute while that all happens. 
So quite a few, probably half the field has gone in, and then up to Modru in seventh, who hasn't gone in, as in fourth, grass up a fifth, Paul in sixth, and then Modru in seventh, and then I think everybody else behind them has come in. James hasn't either, who is he? No, James is uh, staying out there as well. So quite a few went in there. So Dyson, I would imagine, will be the next one in. Still with that fastest lap, and 158.0 now. So he's got faster. You can sort of tell as well. Out there on his own, looking good, looking comfortable. Got nothing to worry about in terms of anyone behind him. Well, not immediately behind him anyway. But I fancy, well, he will be. He will be in for his stop this time round. Will Dyson. Gone past the halfway mark in the race. Now, I think you're going to see maybe the rest of the field coming in. Chuck still in second ahead of Chand. Again, very little in the way of fuel here from these boys. So it all, they're all going to be coming in here. Not going to get another lap in. So, all time for a drink and a fresh set of rubber for these. In seat as well. He's on his last legs. Glass over also. Paul's got a bit left actually. But is he going to get another lap out of it? Or is he going to come in? Might get him. Might go for another one, you know. Who knows? Audrey as well. Got a fair bit left. So stick with Paul and see everybody else is going to come in. Yeah, they have. So all your leaders are in. Has Paul come in? I think he does, actually. I was only driving it. I can't remember. Yeah, in he goes. Wadru is in as well. So I think they're all going to come in now. James are come in. Moz. So, yep, here we go. Let's see who comes out on top then when we get to... I think that the close of play on those lot. Well, it is Dyson. He comes back out in the lead. So no change. So Dyson it is then. And actually, looks like he's made a bit of time. Because that gap back to Chuck and Chand, that's bigger than what it was when he went in. He's filled the car right up and he's on hards now. So obviously, going to be slightly slower as well. Night time too, so going to take a bit of time for those tyres to warm up. Chuck's on the hards and so is uh, Chance actually top three all on hards so all not really any advantage from any of them is there what's Moz on yes yeah, hards so Jerry medium so now Jerry's in pole position I would say with the last quarter of an hour of this race with everybody ahead of him on hards and him on mediums he's got good opportunity you can play his fuel right to get yourself a good solid finish here. So we'll keep an eye on that. This must be the rest of the medium boys. Yeah, old Molson's on hard actually, but good little battle NC with a big hit. That was NC. Cool. That was a big hit. Gonna put him into the clutches of Alex in ninth. And Grasshopper in tenth. Love Rocket in eleventh. <laughs> So a bit of a mix of cars in this lot. There's Paul mediums as well. So a bit of a mix of R's and mediums in that group. Let's go back to Jerry and see if he can catch Mars along here. You would think so. With the mediums and the slip that he's gonna obtain here off of the back of Moz. Yeah, it's going to easily get him, I would think, anyway. Yeah, it's going to go past him like an absolute rocket. It should pull out any minute now. Here he goes. See you later, Moz. Little wave as he went past, I'm sure. I don't think Moz would have waved. Maybe sticking something else up, but it wouldn't be a wave. Moz back to fifth. Smiles now, and he can, he can actually help his calls now. Now he's behind Jerry. Can he get into the slip of him? 
I can bring him along, push him along, pull him along, even, and uh, bring him into play with the three ahead. He's definitely catching him. Jerry is on the go, as I would have thought, what I predicted, really. Sound and Chuck with their own little private battle here in second and third. And what with uh, Jerry's teammate leading the race at the minute, so he can get himself up into top three spots. It's going to be good team points for them. Nice and Chuck going around the airpin there, that's has to get back to Chuck and Chad. Sound of that thing from Jerry, my goodness me. Listen to it. Wow, that sounds magnificent. I was trying all he can to keep with Jerry. Thomas has got himself up in the sixth now. So he's coming back into play now, is Thomas in that Mustang. But surprisingly, he's nowhere around where Inchy is. This is what we've uh, been used to seeing tonight, haven't we? So, no battle with Inchy at the moment. Molson, good showing in seventh. There is Inchy actually, so it's only just a little way behind Thomas actually. So Molson in seventh, looking good. Are we now? Well, we're actually into the last 10 minutes, believe it or not. That's Alex and Incy. Look at his battle going on in eighth and ninth place. Considering this has been a great race, really, these two races actually. Yes, we had the, the big pile up in race one, but other than that, the racing's been superb. That was really no one's fault. Jerry just tapped the barrier, and for some reason, the car just decided to stop like a magnet and unfortunately he was in the wrong place for everybody else but apart from that as I say racing's been absolutely superb and Alex has made a little mistake there I think hit the wall that's going to allow Grasshopper through is it yes Grasshopper is it oh no now he's made a mistake so side by side between these two love rocket there Paul behind him all oh, three guys going up now what can Paul do can he take advantage and get past the wall that was a little bit of pushy, shovey stuff, pulled out. Right on the back, now he's going to do a little switch back. He's pulled up the inside of Love Rocket. Can he get it done? Oh, it's close, very close, door to door. Squeezed out against the barrier, but it's all fair. Now, Dale certainly not, or Love Rocket certainly not giving it to him. Look at this, Paul's still looking for that. Now he's got a bit of side draft, he's going to get past him. Now, can he stay out? Well, he is past him, but can he stay out? Love Rocket will be looking to get up right behind him now. Paul actually looking ahead. He's looking these two ahead of him. He's right up behind Admin and Grasshopper. In fact, he's right up behind Grasshopper. He's now going to come out up then the inside of Grasshopper up into turn one. Can he take that ninth place off him? What's he like on the brakes? Oh, he does get it done. Yeah, good move. So Paul up to ninth place. And we've got Alex Admin, Grasshopper fighting it out with Love Rocket. And Wadru sniffing around. He's just found a little gap. Thanks very much. I'll have a bit of that. He goes up the inside of Love Rocket, or does he? No, he doesn't. Love Rocket said, no, you're not having it, mate. I'm having that 12. Clear off. And James back there in 14, so I'm not too sure what's happened to James here. Just can't get grips with it, can he? In his second race. Bit of a bit of a lonely race here today, certainly in this race too. Dyson Oak, now lead up into these last six minutes. Still with that fastest lap of 158.0. Hope you're enjoying this, folks. This is only round one, remember, just another seven to go. And they're like this, 
you don't want to be watching anything else, do you? Chuck under pressure from Chan Steel. These two have been going at it for the last, what, probably half a dozen laps or so. Been swapping places, trading paint. The Chuck, he ain't going to hold off Hatch hand here with the slip that he's going to get, but he'll be fighting back, Chuck. But this has been a great battle between these two. Moz will just sit there and he'll think, yep, yeah, might have a little sniff of an opportunity somewhere if these two continue to fight like they are. Oh, Chuck's gone wide. He's going to leave the door open for Chand. There he goes, Chand up the inside. Yeah, it was inevitable, really. Chuck just went a little bit wide, got himself out of that dirty stuff, and now Moz is going to have a look up the inside of Chuck, and I think he's got it done, but can Chuck get it back? Oops, get the right camera. No, Chuck's still got it. And he's going to be on the inside now. No, he gets it done, gets back to third place, but Moz thought he had the opportunity there to go up. Oh, now he's had an opportunity to go up the inside. Didn't get that done over. That was close. Looked like he did a little switcheroonie there on Chuck, but Chuck was wise to it. Chance is putting it away now with these two fighting behind him. And then Thomas behind them, and Thomas is coming up to fifth place now. So we could have another good finish here positions two to five with four minutes left everyone's okay for fuel got plenty tires are fine so come around the hairpin watching Thomas eyeing up the three ahead of him now he's got a good opportunity can he guess it get himself up into second spot with this triple slipstream we will see his first target is Moz. There he is, or oh, there they are. Now, how far back is he, Thomas? Maybe a little bit too far at the moment. He's going to be running out of time. Not long left now. Oh, Jan now. Oh, is that Chuck has got him? I missed the pass, but Chuck got him. Chuck's got up through the slipstream, got himself the second place. Chan there in third. Moz is attacking him into fourth. Thomas is watching brief behind him in fifth. In the last three minutes now. Dyson now in the foreground. to battle this is up top into these closing stages everyone's flat out now just go for it to the end probably only got one more lap anyway of this race left oh Moz really going for it right up behind Chan now what can Moz do can he get around the outside not there that closes in fast then walls so maybe just better off staying where you are until the hairpin, if you can get yourself up into the hairpin, get yourself up the inside or along the straight, courtesy of the slip, but he's looking pretty good where he is. If he can get himself on the inside, I'm sure Chand will cover that, or maybe not. Has he got him, Moz? No, didn't get him on the brakes. So let's have a go now. Thomas, he could benefit from this now. Let's have a look. All the, all the while, Chuck is just pulling away ahead of them in second. So let's have a look now, see what happens. Thomas is in the ideal position to get two car slips here. First target, Moz. Target locked in. Now is he going to attack? Oh, I don't know though, Moz is attacking Chand. Look at this. Moz is going to go for it. Oh, I thought Chan Thomas would have been passed. Both of them there actually, but it isn't. Moz is going to go for it instead. Up the inside of Chand. Now, can he get that third place off him? Well, he's on the ideal position. No, Chand said, no, I'm going to have that. I'll go around the outside if I have to. And that's what he did. Now, Thomas, look at this. This is a great battle. Well, we're going to be on the final lap now, so this is going to go right down to the end for sure. Let's have a look here, see what happens. So I'm going to stick with this now. 
to the end on the final lap looks like Dyson might have this one wrapped up got the fastest lap as well so we could have fastest lap and race victory Chuck's pulling away but Moss still behind Chand Thomas not really going in on them not really pulling any moves at the moment oh now Moss no, he's always on the outside. No, he's got him on the outside. Now he'll be on the inside if he stays where he is. Oh, now Thomas is having a look. No, still there. Now what's going to happen down here at the hairpin? like to watch the other guys, but this is where it's happening at the moment. I'm on the final lap now. Still as it was. No, Thomas has got Mars, but he's run wide, Thomas. On the switchback, maybe. It's going to be side by side all the way down no Thomas has got it so let's go to our leader see him cross the line well done Dyson congratulations race two winner gets that fastest lap as well well at the moment anyway congratulations winner is Dyson well done Chuck good second for him well done Chad did get that third Thomas gets full for the mask that's close Paul's going to come in in sixth actually in the end so that's good for him seventh for Molson Wardrew Gets the fastest lap off the end. He does get it at 157.6. Ince in ninth. Grasshopper gets 10th. Alex in 11th. Jerry 12th. Love Rocket's going to get 13th. And then James is going to come in in 14th. So there's your race through, folks. Hope you really enjoyed that. I did. That's what it's going to be like week in, week out now. So please join me again if you can, when you can to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.